Yeah, Dr. Sanjay. Uh, while reading definition of poetry by uh, William Wordsworth, yes, uh, he made some interesting reference to the the words like uh, spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings Correct. and emotions recollected in tranquility. tranquility. Yeah, uh, it would be interesting if you can mm. discuss this particular definition of William Wordsworth with mm. reference to any one of his own poems. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yes, of course. Uh, first of all. Uh, it's a very famous definition mm -hmm. and uh, we can see that after Dryden, mm -hmm. Wordsworth yes. offers this yeah. definition. So, in a way, he seems to be taking the focus away from classical, neoclassical focus on drama mm -hmm. to something which is more which is closer to the romantic uh, sensibility that is something which is more inward mm -hmm. poetry Achha. and we can see that the romantic period is dominated mm -hmm. by only the genre poetry. Jane Austen is of course there but predominantly Pre by poetry. So here is Wordsworth's famous definition. Mm -hmm. Right? Is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings and mm. takes its origin from emotion recollected in tranquility. Mm. Now, if we look at his very famous poem, Daffodils, okay. we will find that Daffodils is a poem which has four stanzas mm -hmm. and three, top three, first three stanzas out of four, the tense is the past. Which means the poem begins with I, I begins with I wandered lonely as a cloud, wandered past tense. Yeah. Then it goes on and ten thousand saw I at a glance. Mm -hmm. Saw I at a glance. I gazed and gazed, but little thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look at it, and then the final stanza when it comes that for oft when on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood mm -hmm. they flash upon the inward eye now that takes it into the present okay. so if we can imagine the poet reclining on a couch mm -hmm. recollecting mm -hmm. his nature walk okay. lake poets very famous for their walk in mm -hmm. the lake district yes. And there he must have seen a whole wide stretch of daffodils. Okay. And he must have his inward eye must have captured that. Mm -hmm. And now he lies. There is also typical to especially Wordsworth and subsequent romantic poets mm -hmm. the city countryside divide. When he is pensive when he is vacant, often he is in a city ambient. And when he is very vitally energized, he is always in the lap of nature. Okay. Now, when he is in a vacant or in pensive mood, he recollects okay. the daffodils. Mm -hmm. So if we just look at, and it would be very interesting, just the simple exercise Often we do not touch upon when we ask students, just look at the tense of the poem. Mm. It would be a good exercise of, say, language, yes. grammar. And in the process, we would be doing stanza-wise the poem mm -hmm. and tracking the imagery in the poem, the tone of the poet, the eye predominant in romantic poetry the eye, the subjective, very subjective yes. eye of the poem. And so if we look, if we follow daffodil stanza by stanza, we will find just looking at the tense gives us how this recollection in tranquility happens. And then how does the poem end? Poem ends with, then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Okay. Now, how does the definition end? That the tranquility gradually disappears mm. and an emotion so the tranquil emotion disappears and an emotion kindred to that which was before that spontaneous outburst of emotion that that great happiness so when he remembers the daffodils once again tranquility vanishes 
and that spontaneity of happiness that he felt as if comes back, makes a re-entry. So in this sense, if we track the mood of the poet, the tone of the poem and the tense mm -hmm. in the poem, Daffodils, we can see how very well this yes. poem, in a nutshell, in a small poem, works out the definition of Wordsworth's uh, definition of poetry. Poetry, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.